It's a real problem among our pets that could cause big headaches for us on the road. In this week's Ask the Vets, we learn how to handle car sickness. Good morning. I'm Dr. Eric Anderson from the Boston Spa Veterinary Clinic. Today we're going to talk about uh, car sickness in, in dogs, typically young dogs. It's not the greatest early morning topic, so we'll, uh, we'll keep it as clean as possible. If you allow this to become a recurrent issue, the dog could start to associate the car with nausea, not the ride itself, and then it's going to be hard to treat. As far as prevention goes, number one, start with an exam with your veterinarian. Make sure that there's not an ear infection or some other pain or problem that could be leading to this car sickness or increasing, uh, increasing the possibility. For a time being, decrease the number of trips in the car. Don't try to take them every day to get them used to it. It's just going to make matters worse. Number three, try a different vehicle. Sometimes a different car or a different driver can, can uh, alter things a little bit. There is medication. Uh, we use uh, one called Serenia that's quite helpful as far as uh, getting rid of the problem of car sickness. We don't really recommend dogs sit in the front seat of the car, but while you're trying to, to uh, deal with this nausea or vomiting problem, uh, have them sit in the front seat with a car restraint. If they can see out the front window, just like with people, they're less likely to get car sick. And then feeding, feed multiple small meals during the course of the day, not one big one in the morning. At night, uh, you don't want to take them in the car right after they've had a big meal. So those are some ideas to help you if you've got car sickness issues. Give your veterinarian a call. They'll have some ideas as well. Uh, from the Boston Spa Veterinary Clinic, I'm Dr. Eric Anderson. If you have a question that you'd like to ask the vets, it's really simple. Just email askthevets at cbs6albany.com.